Okay, welcome to my kitchen. I'm just going to show you what I need to use to make spaghetti bolognese in Mongolia because it's not very easy to buy anything. Number one, today I got to buy a Victorinox knife. Proof, it's more of a packaging. It cost me um, about 7,000 tubur, which is about um, $6.50. And it's our only sharp knife, which is super exciting. Onion quality. Mmm, not so delicious. Garlic, super cheap because nobody's here. Nobody likes to buy second hand things, which is why I got all those coats really cool. And this is the second hand garlic, which is just the little cloves that have come off the whole bowl. So it cost 220 tulk grugs, if you can see that, which is um, less than 20 cents. So we'll be using lots of garlic, also so that we don't get sick. This is our beautifully packaged, probably two week old shallots, but they'll be put in last just for a red green colour. Kidney beans for fibre because we don't get any fruit except for in cheese. Interesting thing of the day this is carrot. We think, is it, well, yeah, that's a carrot. It's muddy and not very clean, but. Mm, you can't really see the orange. But it's the shape of a carrot, right? And we'll just peel it and we'll be fine. Um, oh yeah, that's my lounge room and my double door fridge. It has a water dispenser as well, which is really cool. Chicken stock, the flavour because there's not much flavour. Shrooms. Tomato paste, tomato sauce. This was really hard to find because it didn't come. You either got whole tomatoes in a tin or tomato paste, and it's super expensive. Pasta. Uh, probably the most exciting thing when I asked some people today about herbs and spices, how do they know what, when a recipe says a herb? for example parsley what would they use what would they say and the response was oh no it's just herbs so or or spices herb, herbal spice mainly spices and well how do you differentiate between the two turns out you don't she said just mongolian spices because not that i can read mongolian yet after my language lesson just this morning but you can see maybe you can see on the bottom here it says Mongolian taste, which means it's Mongolian spices. And that's what they use for everything, for their boots, their um, dumplings, and everything, I guess. So I thought I'd make spaghetti bolognese with a Mongolian flavour. Now, the most exciting thing of today was the finding of herbs in a packet, dried herbs, that we'll be able to use for everything, mainly because um, I'm going to do the official opening on this as well. This is, <laughs> this is how big my herbs are. Um, it cost me $15. It's mixed herbs. It's actually made in Australia, if you can read down the bottom there. It's made in Kingsgrove in New South Wales. I don't know where that is, but it was 17,000 Togrug, which is, you know, not not cheap for herbs. And then what what do you do with this many herbs? Anyway, so I thought I would pass them around and um, let everyone have some because I won't use them all. Well, I might I might get really in need of some herbs and spices. But the official oh man, I can smell it already. Oh yeah. It totally smells like herbs and spices. Yum! The <laughs> 500 grams. Usually you get a packet of like 20. Oh man, this spaghetti bolognese is gonna taste like a pizza. Ding. 
Tschüss.